Hey guys, it's Tara. Um, I don't really have a lot to talk about today, um, but I am curious about a few things. So, we all know during quarantine, um, I got a little obsessed with skincare. And I bought a lot of it. A lot of it. <laughs> um... But I'm lazy and I haven't stuck with it. So, the few things that I have stuck with. So, um, I love my, um, what is it, Yenzi Superfood Dual Cleanser. It's an oil cleanser. Um, I use the oil on my dry, bare skin to get my makeup off. And then you add water to emulsify it. And that's your double cleanse. Um, I love it. Um, I've been trying to recently, um, really try to get a little better about the skincare that I've got. Um, a lot of it I've put up. I don't use it at all. I just overbought. I got over excited. I overbought and I didn't need, honestly, I didn't need any of it, but I mean, most of it has gone in a box. The few things that I still use... Um, I might do like once a week, but I'm trying to do better. So the last like three days, I've really been trying to do something, anything, any, any type of skincare is better than no skincare. So I have noticed though, I do really like the Polish Choice 2% BHA. Um, it's a chemical exfoliant. I have basically the most normal skin it's not oily it's really only dry like around my nose and for some reason like in between and through my eyebrows gets really dry and it makes no sense to me maybe somebody out there experiences that also eyebrow dryness I don't get it I don't know if that's a thing um, but I'm normally only dry, literally, like, right in these little crevices around my nose, like, where it's really red. Um, it gets pretty flaky, and I do tend to flake, like, here. Okay, but the rest of my skin, I'm gonna assume it's just normal. Like, I don't have oily skin by any stretch of the imagination, not even in my T-zone. I'm just not oily. Um, I don't have breakouts. I might get like a little pimple. Three, four times a year. I mean, really, it's very um, irregular. They're very just random. And it's normally just one. Like, I've got like a little spot like right here. But I can't really get to it to like pop it or do anything. Um, last week I did have one right there. It's kind of healing. It's fine. Um, the 2% Polish Choice BHA though, I do have a question about, or maybe a concern. Um, so every video I've watched of people talking about it say that they really like it because it, you don't have to wash it off. It's a leave-on treatment, right? And it just sinks into your skin. And they're all like raving that it, it sinks in so quick and easy. And it just doesn't on me. <laughs> this has now been on my face sitting for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And I can still feel it. Like I can still feel it's... It's a little tacky, it's a little wet, it's a little, you know, it's a little slimy. Um, I really, really don't think I'm using too much. I'm literally just, you know, going around like twice on a, on a cotton pad. It's not like dripping off of the cotton pad. I don't really think I'm using too much of the product. So, why does it take so long? Is is it supposed to? Because some of the videos I've watched, they're like, oh yeah, it sinks in so easily and it's a dream. And you can just go on with the rest of your routine. 
I cannot. I cannot. I have to let this sit for kind of a decent amount of time. Like I said, it's been about 15, 20 minutes since I used it. And it's, I can still like really feel it. Like there is for sure something sitting on my skin without a doubt. You can feel it. I can feel it when I'm just talking to you. I can feel it like when I stretch my face. It's almost, it's almost sticky. Like it feels like I've got like a sticky primer on my face. And I don't know that that's normal because like I said, all the other videos I watch, they're like, yeah, it sinks in and it absorbs so fast and like da 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 and it doesn't on my skin and I don't understand why. So, if anyone out there uses the Polish Choice 2% BHA chemical exfoliant, please comment because, like, am I doing it wrong? Am I just use? am I using too much? I don't think I'm using too much. It doesn't seem like I'm using too much. But it just doesn't settle into my skin quite like everyone describes it. Um, so, I'm a little, mm, I don't know. Um, we've talked about this. I've kind of stopped using my vitamin C. Um, Lord, that was a trip. I had such a struggle with that vitamin C when I first got it, which I found out later it's completely normal to have that happen with vitamin C. So I used it a few times and literally my whole face peeled off. And I mean, probably two solid weeks of peeling like I could actually like peel skin off my face I could not wear makeup I had flakes of skin just everywhere everywhere I mean it would get in my eyelashes like and I know I didn't put vitamin c on my eyes but I'm just saying like the flakes would fall off get in my eyelashes like it was so bad it took about two weeks for that to stop um I've used the vitamin C like maybe a handful of times since then, but nothing on a regular basis. It's really just a random, I'm going to throw just a little bit on just to see, you know, trying to kind of build my skin up to using it, I guess. But I want the benefits of vitamin C. This is my skin in the barest form. Yes, I have the Polish Choice 2% BHA on right now, letting it sink in if it ever does um but this is how my skin looks it looks a little dewier than normal because like I said there is something sitting on it but like I have zero glow to my skin I don't have maybe I don't know can your skin be considered dry if it's not like flaky and peely and tight like, maybe my face, maybe, maybe my skin, maybe my face skin is more on the dry side, but I just don't get flaky skin except for, like, in the crevices of my nose and right here in my eyebrows. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. But this is, like, my actual bare, clean skin. And you can see, I have no, like, glow like there's no radiance there's no lip from within it's just bland um and I kind of say the same thing about my hair like you know this is my natural hair color I have not had color on it in probably a year or more and it's so short that like if it grows any the color grows out so this is my actual natural hair color and I feel like it's just dull there's no life to it. There's no, like, highlights or nothing that catches the sun or it's just a dull brown. It's just a dull brunette color. And that's my natural hair color. And I feel like my face is kind of the same way. There's no luminosity to it. There's no glow. There's no... Nothing catches the sun. It's just blah. You know, it's just bland and it's just like blah skin. 
So I want the benefits of a vitamin C because your vitamin C is where you get that really nice, healthy glow. And, you know, I've been using the Paula's Choice to try to exfoliate, like, the dead skin, hoping that a glow will come. You know, like, once I get rid of, like, this surface layer that's maybe a little on the dry side, I keep looking for that, like, glow, and I just don't have it. I don't have it. Now, keep in mind, my diet sucks. I don't drink water. I know that all helps. But, like, do you guys have any recommendations of, like, what will, or what even ingredient, like, what do I need to be looking for? Maybe vitamin C isn't for me. And that's fine. Maybe vitamin C just isn't what I need. Um, maybe possibly this Paula's Choice isn't what I need. But I don't love physical exfoliants. And from where I do get the dead skin, you know, like around my nose, I thought the Paula's Choice BHA would be great. And I haven't had any bad reaction from it at all. It just doesn't seem to want to... It just doesn't want to seem to soak into my skin. It just sits on my skin. And my my skin is clean. I already cleansed before I did the Polish Choice. So it is clean skin. But like it doesn't want to penetrate. Like it's like I have a constant barrier on my face where none of my skincare wants to like penetrate and get in there. Because all of my skincare seems to just sit. None of it absorbs. None of it gets in there, it, it just sits on my skin as like an extra layer, which is why I don't do my skincare as often, because it takes an hour or more to get it to sink in and to where I can move on to the next step. So I would love some recommendations about how or what ingredient or um, what product would give me that like really nice healthy glow without making me oily which I'm not oily so I can't imagine a product making me overly oily um it's really just normal basic skin I just have normal basic skin a little bit of dryness no oiliness which thank god I'm happy you know I know a lot of people struggle with oil oil um and overly oily, and it's really hard with makeup, so I mean, I'm happy, I'm thankful for that, but I would like a nice glow, and not just this, like, I mean, there's no glow, like, there's no healthy glow to my skin, it is, it's just bland, it's just, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be complaining, because, I mean, it could be way worse, but if I'm gonna invest in skincare, I want the results that I'm looking for, and I want a healthy, beautiful glow, a natural glow, without being looking oily or, you know, sweaty. I don't want to, you know, I want a natural, healthy glow, but the vitamin C isn't going to be it for me. The Polish Choice, I mean... I haven't noticed any real difference in my skin since using it. And that is the one skincare that I use the most, like the most regular. Um, I haven't really noticed a change, like to be just really honest with you about it. Maybe my nose, maybe my nose does flake a little less. But that's a maybe. But that's the only benefit that I can physically see um, from using the Polish Choice, the vitamin C, I didn't see any results except for my face literally peeled off. Um, and I normally don't, I'm not big on like a huge skincare routine. So I only normally use my cleanser or my cellar water, depending on if I'm lazy or not, my BHA, and I normally use like some type of serum and then moisturizer, and I, I pretty much cut it off at that, but, like, I need something that's gonna give me life, I need something that's gonna give me life, okay, I feel like my skin just looks, 
boring. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no... There's no, like, healthy, youthful glow. There's no... Really nothing. It's just kind of blank and just basic. So, I would love recommendations on, like, what you guys like. If you've really noticed a product has helped and you've actually, like, noticed results... That's where I'm a little lacking. I haven't really noticed any results from the skincare I'm using at the moment. But I don't really have big skin issues, so I don't know if I would see a change. Um, but does anybody else have this problem with this BHA? Like, Jesus. Like, and Polish Choice is a good brand. Highly, highly recommended. It's like one of the best on the markets. It's not crazy expensive, which is really good. It's got great ingredients, fragrance-free, all the good stuff they tell you, but, like, it just doesn't sit on my skin well, y'all. Like, I can still feel it. Like, it's still a little, like, sticky. I wish you could hear. I wish you could hear the sound that my hand is making when I push it in and take it off. Like, you can hear it. From where it's still so sticky. I, I don't get it. It's now been over 30 minutes. And it's still sticky. Like it's, it's getting there. But why does it take so long? Am I doing it wrong? Am I using too much? Maybe I am using too much. Maybe it literally just takes a smidge. I don't know. I don't know. Help send help because like I'm trying to not be so lazy with my skincare but like I'm not seeing any results so like what is the point like my skincare isn't it's not doing what I want it to do it's not helping in any noticeable way except like I said I might be a little less flaky right here from the Paula's Choice but that's it like that's the only real difference I can tell it doesn't feel any different. It doesn't look any different. I'm not getting any glow. I'm not getting... <laughs> Help! Um, so, if any of my subscribers are big into skincare, please, for the love of God, drop me a comment. Tell me if you've experienced this with any of your skincare. Does anybody out there use the Paula's Choice 2% BHA? Do you feel that you have the same problem or does it really soak in really fast for you? Do you have any recommendations of what would give me a nice glow, maybe minus vitamin C? I'm, I don't know that vitamin C is really my jig, you know what I mean? Like, it's not my cup of tea. It made my skin feel really bad. I understand that was probably just from me diving in a little too fast. And that is a natural thing that happens. I've heard that from a lot of people. That that can happen if you jump too fast into vitamin C instead of building up. Your skin can peel. And that's a normal result. Um, but it almost scared me away from continuing with vitamin C. So, if you guys have had really good luck with vitamin C, let me know. Maybe I will start to try to build it up a little slower than last time. But maybe I'll try to keep going with it. Um, but if, is there any other ingredients? Is there any other products that would give me that really nice, beautiful, healthy, glowing skin that lit from it within glow that I just don't have on a normal basis like this is about as like glowy as my skin gets and it's simply because I have the polished choice sitting on my skin so it is giving it a small smidge of a glow but when this settles it's gonna be just bland skin like and I know that's so not cool to like even complain about like I don't really have any skin issues I shouldn't be complaining but I don't want I don't want just like blah skin like I want to look good I want to look healthy I want to look like I am lit from within and I'm glowing and I want to look like that without having to plop highlighter all over my face or whatever you know like I just 
I just want nice skin. And I do have nice skin, but like I want it to look vibrant and healthy and alive and not like I'm dead and have no like <laughs> nothing about me. You know what I mean? Like, and I already know there's really nothing for dark circles, which I feel like these dark circles are getting a little better. And I honest to God haven't been using anything for it. So that's just on my body. But like this, my eyelids and right above it, it's just, and even right now it's really not that bad. But like, do you see this just big darkness on both sides on the edge of my eye and it goes all the way into my, uh, I don't know. It's not so bad right now, but it gets really dark and it's such a pain in the butt. But I know there's really nothing, um that maybe fixes dark circles. I mean, you can obviously, like, cover them with makeup, but, um, I watch enough skincare, like, gurus on YouTube to pretty much know by now that nothing really gets rid of them. Um, eye creams aren't really that useful. You can totally just use your moisturizer under your eye, like, just to moisturize it. Like, specific eye creams aren't really necessary when you can do the same thing with your moisturizer. So, and I know that, you know, eye creams that say they can get rid of dark circles most certainly don't work. Lord knows I've sunk tons of money into numerous ones. And I, now I watch skincare gurus that just straight up will tell you dark circles aren't going anywhere. You have them or you don't. And there's really no fixing them, like, on, for permanently. Like, you can cover them, but no eye cream or anything is gonna make it any less dark. So, I would love to hear your all skincare recommendations. Um, like I said, I like to keep my skincare small, because I'm lazy, and the smaller it is, the more likely I'm to do it more often. So... You know, I've got a cleanser. I've got a great moisturizer. I do like the Polish Choice BHA. It doesn't irritate me. It doesn't... It doesn't cause me any problems. It just doesn't settle into my skin as fast as most people say it does theirs. So, I'm just curious about that. And curious about any ingredient minus vitamin C that could give me... Like, that really pretty glow, that healthy glow that, like, we all want, but it's difficult as shit to achieve for some reason, or at least for me, being on the normal to dry side of skin. Um, I use a lot of highlighter, you know? You gotta get that glow somewhere, because Lord knows, I don't, literally, I don't have glow anywhere on my face. Like, and this always gets red when I use the Paula's Choice just right here, because I have a scar here, and for some reason, like, that scar just wants to get blood red when I use the Polish Joys. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't break out, it does nothing, it just turns red for, like, 30 minutes, and then it goes back to normal. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. If I had some type of, some type of reaction, I would obviously quit using it, it just gets red on that scar. I don't know. I, I have no idea why. But when you go, when you use that Polish Choice and you put it over a scar, it does get very red. But it goes away. It goes away, like, really quick. But it takes forever to sink into my skin. And I don't get it. I don't understand it. I mean, I can use a fan. I can sit here for an hour. And it'll still feel like... I don't know, it just feels like it's sitting. It doesn't penetrate my skin. And I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so, if anybody has any but recommendations, um, please comment. I would love to hear some feedback on all of this. I know this is kind of a boring video. Um, but it's my day off. You guys know on my days off is when I really do try to do my skincare and just kind of sit and relax. And I've got the time. I don't have to worry about putting makeup on immediately. So I was doing my skincare and I thought about it. And I just figured I'd pop on and ask my people, you know? Ask my people for some advice. Because I'm struggling. Obviously not knowing what the hell I'm doing. 
So I would love a comment below. Please let me know. Give me your recommendations. And shit, tell me what you think I'm doing wrong. Like, because I'm open. I don't care. Like, tell me what you think I'm doing wrong. Maybe I really am doing something wrong. And you guys out there, maybe somebody's had the same experience and you've been able to fix it. Let a girl know. Let me in on your tips, on your tricks. I want to know your favorite skincare. I want to know what's helped you the most. I want to know what you've actually seen results with. And what the results were. Like, what what's your favorite product? Why did you start using it? What benefit did you want from it? And did it actually give you that in the end? Did it give you that? And let me know how long it took. I know they say most skincare you need to use for at least two months before you see a result. After that vitamin C mishap, it really just scared me off of vitamin C. Um... But if enough people tell me, like, I will start slowly building back up to vitamin C. Because, um, like I said, I would love to get the benefits. Because vitamin C is one of the best ways to get that nice glowing skin. Or at least I've that's what I've heard and researched and read. Um, but if there is something besides vitamin C that maybe won't give me that harsh of a reaction, I would love to know. I would love to get my hands on it, try it out, and let's see what happens. So, make sure you comment, send this to your friends, ask them if they know, because, like, listen, your girl needs help, okay? I need a little, I need a little help. Yeah, see, this BHA always makes me really red right here, but it goes away. Nothing ever happens, no reaction, no outbreak, no nothing. It just gets red, just right there, and then it goes away when it's, like, fully sunk into my face an hour later. Is that normal? I'm like, I don't know. Like I said, I use it all the time, and I've never had a bad reaction from it, but at the same time, I can't really tell you that I've seen any results. But then again, I don't really know what I'm looking for in results with a chemical exfoliant because I have like normal to dry skin. So am I supposed to see any results from this? Or do I just use it because I know that it's getting all that crap like out of my face and that's just good for my face. Even though it's not, I don't want to say it's not benefiting me because it's cleaning all the gunk out, but I'm not seeing any benefits from it. If that makes sense. I know it's good for me. I know it doesn't hurt me. But I don't know that I'm seeing any difference in using it than before I ever had it. Or ever even heard of it. So, this was a babble fest. I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, I really just wanted to hop on because I was curious. Because I just feel like this doesn't react to my skin like I hear it does on other people. So, like, am I doing it wrong? Am I using it wrong? Is it just not doing it because my skin doesn't necessarily, like, need it? Like, some people are, like, extra oily and they use it and it, like, dries them out because it gets all that excess sebum and oil out. Like, is that why I'm not seeing anything? Or is that why it's not, like, sinking into my skin better? Because I, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand and I need help. So, if you could... Leave me a comment, send this to your friends and family, ask them, and yeah, just get back to me, and I will hopefully be back soon with maybe a little more interesting stuff to talk about. Bye!